So one of the things that would be really useful to have, I think, is an operating manual for human beings. Like literally, if we could figure out a set of instructions, a set of algorithms that would teach us how to optimize ourselves, how to tweak the knobs and levers of consciousness towards useful spaces of contemplation and transformation so that we may become more than what we are, so that we may expand, transcend, transform. And there's a wonderful idea popularized by Kevin Kelly known as Finite and Infinite Games. Now, Finite and Infinite Games is a book by religious scholar James P. Carse. And Kevin Kelly, who co-founded Wired Magazine, has praised it for altering my thinking about life, the universe, and everything. And essentially, it comes down to this. Finite games are played to win or lose, right? That's familiar. That's boring, right? Infinite games are played to keep the game going. Take note of this idea. It is no longer about black and white. It is no longer about winning or losing. The coup here is to keep the game going, to reach a kind of cosmic homeostasis, to move to spaces beyond entropy, beyond death. It's not about conquering, it's about continuing to exist, to contemplate. It's about <laughs> immortalizing and eternalizing sentience, consciousness. You know, the futurist Ray Kurzweil has popularized the term singularity as the moments in which humans transcend biology. The Jesuit scholar Pierre de Chardin talks about the omega point and the directionality of evolution. You know, others have written about the fact that we've decommissioned natural selection and now we get to look deep within ourselves and actually decide, author, what we wish to become. We are a geologic force. Now we've seen how this power can be used in destructive ways. We've seen the effects of global warming. But we must also realize that we have the unique capacity with these new construction kits for our reality to not just address the grand challenges of humanity, but essentially to fix the world. Not to win or lose, but to keep the game going. So let us say this, right? Let us stop playing the finite game and let us play the infinite game.